Hi, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 2 of our Xamarin UI test video course. And in this video, we are going to talk about setting stage ready for Xamarin. If you remember our part 1, we were talking about the introduction of Xamarin and we were also discussing about the difference between Appium and Xamarin UI test. And today we can talk about the setting stage ready for Xamarin where we are actually going to talk about the installation of Xamarin itself in Windows operating system. So let's get started. Setting stage ready. The following prerequisite softwares are required for installing Xamarin in your machine. For Windows, we need Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition or above and Android SDK setup as well as Java in your machine. If you install Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition, the Android SDK will automatically install for you and again this is not something which you require to install. Even Java will also be installed for you alongside the Visual Studio 2017 installation. But all these Android SDK setup as well as the Java setup are going to install in a default Visual Studio 2017 installation path. For instance, if you require the Android SDK to be installed in a different place because it's going to take so much of space in your C drive or something like that, then you can have your own Android SDK set up in your machine. So that is going to save your space and as well as the Java. I actually prefer the second one, which is installing the Android SDK and Java my own instead of Visual Studio 2017 doing it for me. So that's the prerequisite for Windows. And for Mac operating system, you need to download the Visual Studio for Mac and you need to have Xcode as well as Java installed. And once again, for installing Visual Studio 2017 for Mac, I have already created some videos on our YouTube where you can just go and search for installing Visual Studio 2017 for Mac in Exit Automation. You'll get the first link where you can see how to install Visual Studio for Mac in your Mac operating system. So I'm not really going to deep dive and tell about that. Rather, we're just going to see how it works for Windows installation, right? So this is the very simple prerequisite for getting started with Xamarin. An important information in this whole course is that we are going to do a lot of hands-on, rather the slide itself. So you don't see more boring theories in the slides as what we are seeing right now. Rather, it's going to be hands-on where we will talk more while working with it, rather more theoretical. But if you are a kind of guy where you need to see the documentation on how things are working, well, you can just head over to these links, xamarin.com slash university. So this is the Xamarin University. Actually, this is a paid version of Xamarin University where you can see how to develop the cross-platform applications in Xamarin. And you can also understand how the xamarin.form works. And also you can learn something about the UI test as well. But I don't really get a lot of information on UI test. But yes, for developing the application, you get so much of information in here. So you can just head over there and start working with it. But again, this is a paid version. So if you have Visual Studio 2017 Enterprise license in your company, there is a free coupon code where it is going to enroll you for free. But again, it is limited where you get few information, but not the whole information itself. So if you are paying, then you will get the whole access of Xamarin University. And again, there is one more link that developers of xamarin.com slash guide slash cross platform slash getting started. Here you learn about working with cross platform application development with Xamarin. And again, this course scope is not going to tell you how to work with a cross platform application, how to develop a Xamarin application uh, for Android and iOS. Rather, we'll develop a very super simple application in our next video and we'll just use that application for automating it. So that's what is our scope. But yeah, if you want to learn how to develop a native application for cross platform, you can just head over to this link and you can start learning from there. Finally, our UI test. So you can see that the UI test is actually sitting under slash test cloud slash UI test. So it means they are giving more preference for the test cloud itself rather the API, which is the Xamarin.UI test. So yes, you can learn how to work with Xamarin from this particular URL. And again, the documentation is very good. You can just go ahead, uh, see how things are working. But again, all these concepts will be covered in a super simplified way in our Xero Automation channel, uh, YouTube videos, as well as in Udemy videos. So yes, this is what is the whole 
theoretical section that you can learn from. So let's not really bore all these theoretical information as I was talking about before. Let's get started and start working with it. So for that, I'm gonna flip to my Windows 10 operating system. All right, so now I am in my Windows 10 operating system and I'm gonna head over to uh, Chrome and you can see I am right now in the visualstudio.com website and you can see that there is a Visual Studio IDE download option. You can download the community edition that is more than enough, which is free. You can download it and you can start working with it for working with Xamarin. You can download that or you can uh, download the enterprise version if you have the license. Actually, I have the license for enterprise, so I'm gonna download the enterprise 2017. I have already installed this in my machine, but just to give a heads over information on how to actually work with it, I'll just download and I will show you like what are the different options that you need to check for installing the Xamarin itself in your machine. So I'm just gonna double click this and I'm gonna hit OK. So that's gonna bring in the Visual Studio 2017 installer for me. All right, so the finally uh, we are here with the Visual Studio 2017 and uh, you can see there is a modify option that I have. So if I do modify, it's gonna bring me up the actual installations that I have. So the one thing I checked here is this. Uh, I have checked this uh, ASP.NET and web app development here. So it's gonna be useful for me to develop some web applications, I've checked this and you have to also check this .NET desktop development if you want. And finally, the most important thing is this, mobile development with .NET. So here is where the Xamarin comes into picture. So this is the one which I was talking about, build cross-platform application for iOS, Android, or Windows using Xamarin. So you need to check this as well. So these are the options that we required actually for developing uh, the Xamarin application. But I have a few more things like .NET Core because I'm also interested in the uh, .NET Core to uh, run the Selenium on different operating systems with Docker, so I have checked this as well. So these are the different options that you need to check and then if you hit install, it is gonna install, that's it. It's pretty straightforward and simple. But if you go to the individual components here, and if you scroll down a little bit, you can see that there is a Xamarin Profiler Remote Simulator and Workbook. And also there is a Google Android Emulator. This is what I was talking about. So if you check this, it is gonna install the emulator for you out of the box along with the Visual Studio. And also it is gonna install the Visual Studio Emulator for Android if you install, and also the Intel Hardware Accelerated Execution uh, manager. So this is very very important because if you have the Intel VT enabled system then it is going to be very very faster. You will really understand what I'm really talking about. So if you have an Android emulator which is pretty slow and if your machine is uh, Intel VT enabled and if you check the host GPU usage then it will be very very faster as like your Android cell phone which is the actual physical device. So this is also important. And you can see this, these things I have not even installed using Visual Studio, but still it is installed in my machine. So I have actually customized this and I have installed them my own. So I'm not really using the out of the box uh, installation which is available along with the uh, Visual Studio. So this is the installation part, pretty straightforward and simple. So I have installed all of them and it is pretty good to go. So once you install these, all of these things is gonna be there in your machine. You just need to restart, I guess, uh, maybe one time because the .NET uh, framework will be installed and also .NET Core will be, will be installed. So yeah, these are the few things that you need to install. So once everything is installed, you are pretty good to go and uh, you can see that the Xamarin will be available. If you just head over to the uh, file and new project template, you can see there will be a cross-platform option where you can see there is Xamarin and also iOS uh, for Xamarin and also the Android for Xamarin, right? So these are the different options that you get once you install the Visual Studio. The reason why I have not installed is because it is already available in my machine and the another reason is going to be time consuming and it's going to take so much of time. So uninstalling in my machine and showing you again the same thing is going to be really, really boring. It is pretty straightforward installation. So please do it yourself and we'll talk about the creation of a super simple application in the next video and you will understand how to create a very super simple application and run the application in the Android emulator. So once again, thank you very much for watching these videos and have a great day.